This coming Sunday is Mother's Day, a day in which we honor mothers and rightly so. My mother has been in the presence of her Savior now for almost 25 years, but her memory is indelibly marked on my soul. One of those memories was when she prayed for us when we went to bed. It was always a Bible story, a prayer, and a kiss. My mother would have fainted had she been called upon to pray in public, but at bedtime with her five small children, she easily talked to God. It was so beautiful, so passionate, so real, that I sometimes peeked to see if God had come to join her. And what did she pray for? She, like Hannah in the days of the judges, told the old priest Eli, For this child I prayed. 1 Samuel 1, 27. And what was godly Hannah praying? Well, she was dedicating her little three-year-old son, Samuel, to God. And that's precisely what my mother was doing. She was dedicating her children to her God. I wish I could say, because of my mother's prayers, I was always perfect. But I dare not make that claim, because God tells us that it, all liars are going to be cast into the lake of fire. I have no appetite for that, believe me. Revelation 21, verse 8. But I am convinced in my soul that my mother's prayers kept me from a life of dissipation and debauchery. I am positive in my heart that her prayers helped me to come to Jesus as Savior. She told me all about that wonderful, beautiful Jesus, that wonderful Savior, because he would come to save his people from their sins, Matthew 1, 21. She was, though she knew it not, doing what the ancient prophet Isaiah told us to do, and that is, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert the highway for our God, Isaiah 40, verse 3. My mother made the way to Jesus so clear and so plain that the first time I ever heard the invitation given to accept Jesus, I answered the invitation. I asked Jesus to come into my heart and save my save my soul and save me from my sins. And that very moment Jesus entered my heart, I was born again. My name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I literally was only 10 years old. Now 82 years old, it is real as it was yesterday. And I am convinced it all came about because my mother prayed for five little souls and they all came to know Jesus. So mothers everywhere, pray for your children. I can hear some mother telling me right now, Pastor, I too prayed for my son, for my daughter. For 40 years I prayed for them. and They're far out in the world, unconverted and unsaved. To you I want to say, never stop praying until you die. And you know what? After you die, they may very well come to Jesus. My guess is right now some of them are listening and the Holy Spirit is talking and pleading and they're coming to the Savior. Mother is gone, but her prayers are bringing you to Jesus. Just pray, dear Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Please come into my heart and save me. I want to see my mother again. Read John 5, 24. Write and tell us about it. God bless you and oh yes, Happy Mother's Day. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for godly mothers. Just encourage them and bless them and multiply their number. And we'll give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.